Here is my dad's Suzuki GS1000L and uh, this is the CDI or the igniter for the coils. Basically it's supposed to be feeding power to the coils all the time and then when it takes it away it sparks because that's how a coil works. And this one is not giving power to the middle two cylinders coil which is this one right here on the right side of where we're looking so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up I've got the charger on the battery right now but we're gonna hook it up to this igniter and as you can see I've got the red one hooked up to the orange and white stripe wire and I've got the black one hooked up to the black with white stripe wire sorry about the focus and what I'm gonna do is take my new voltmeter here and then I'm going to I'm going to put the positive uh, lead on the voltmeter. First, we have it set on a setting that's good for 12 volts. You can see I've got it set on 20, and we're going to stick the positive in the orange and white wire, and then take the negative and stick it in one of the extra leads. And you'll see that one has 10 volts, which is good. But if I stick it, and that's this one, if I stick it in the other one it has zero volts and this right here is the guy that tells you when the crank trigger tr crank trigger is aiming at you know the pickup on it and that's what fires the coil or takes away the power so basically we don't even have power to it and this isn't hooked up so this CDI is thinking that it should be firing right now when that's not the case so I need a new CDI you should get power out of both of these, not just one. And you can see it kind of seems like it wants to, but then once I get it on there all the way, it goes right back down to zero. So it's a bad CDI.